There's so many beautiful beaches here in Sydney. The water is so clean and beautiful. There is a walk named Puji to Bondi walk. This is a coastal walk around 5 to 6 kilometers. On the way there is a beach named Bronte. That's my favorite beach. We don't have any beaches in North India. So after I came here, it was really amazing experience for me. I have been living and studying in Australia for the last two years. I am working in the area of waste recycling during my PhD at University of New South Wales in Sydney. Coming from India, you know, or, or maybe any developing country, waste recycling and environmental pollution, it's a big problem and it deeply affects the quality of life of the people. After I finish my PhD, I would like to work somewhere where they make policies related to environmental management so that I can have a bigger impact on environment in my home country. Vivid is one of the most popular festivals in Sydney. It is organized every year for a month. The city, you know, it's lit with beautiful lights and colors and installations. And it's a very good spot to hang out with friends. Ben is one of the best person I know in Sydney. He's a journalist and when I was in India, he came to write a story on me. I basically got in the car and drove south from Delhi um, and got totally lost trying to get there but I eventually found Utam's village. He came and met me at a market and took me to his tiny little village which is on no map anywhere and I sat down with his family and I heard Utam's story. This is a guy who came from a household where there was very little education in a village that spoke almost no English. Um, and he essentially willed himself to be the absolute top of the class and to win a scholarship beating tens of thousands of others for one single scholarship to come and study in Australia. And that was his dream and he made it a reality. I think there's a very real possibility that Nutrutam will have a, a hugely transformative effect on the world. But even if that doesn't happen, just his story is already a great one because of the effect that the education he's been afforded has already had on his life and the way it's changed his life from the life that his father and his grandfather led to the life that he's living now um, is just sort of demonstration of how valuable education is. So there was one Australian family, they had been to India like a few years ago. When they read about me, they wanted to return the hospitality they received in India. I was reading the newspaper one day and I saw a photograph of this young boy sitting on a step with his father standing behind. From reading the article I just thought, wow, this young kid just sounds so interesting and so fantastic and just thought, wouldn't it be great to get him over, invite him over for dinner when uh, he arrives here in the country. And I went all out, made a massive Indian feast and he was pretty excited and surprised by that. And ever since he's come to our street party, we meet up quite often and have a coffee. Last year I went to his graduation. They have a very cute dog, his, his name is Max. So whenever I go visit them, I, I like to play with that dog. Although we have a lot of stray dogs in the street, but I never had a pet. Before I came, I expected that, you know, Sydney cricket ground is for cricket, not for AFL. Following a team is a tradition in Australia. He's got no choice. He has to barrack for Sydney Swans. <laughs> I had watched it on TV, but I could never understand the game. But when I went with them, they explained the rules and since then I started, you know, enjoying the game very much. They are very, you know, supportive and uh, it feels like I'm in a part of their family. It's a very nice feeling and I don't miss my family that much if I have people like Ben and Louise around me. If I hadn't won this competition, I would not have been able to come and study in Australia. So it was a very big opportunity for me and I feel lucky that I, I got selected for it. <laughs>